What's going on Aurora Alliance and welcome back to a brand new Star Wars Battlefront 2 video and in this video I'm going to be showing you the new Star Wars Battlefront 2 space battles slash campaign images as well as the first look at the brand new Inferno Squad TIE Fighter which looks pretty similar to a normal TIE Fighter except it has the Inferno Squad markings which make it look really cool actually I'm very excited to use this in the Star Wars Battlefront 2 campaign if we do get to do that and I'm also interested to see whether or not the Inferno Squad TIE Fighter will feature in the Star Wars Battlefront 2 multiplayer I think that would be really cool to see it in both the campaign and the multiplayer but before I show off these images make sure to let me know down in the comments section below if you have any questions about Star Wars Battlefront 2 as I will be trying to put together a video with your questions in it so I can answer everyone's questions about the game and also make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel to be kept up to date with all things Star Wars Battlefront 2 as next month we do have Gamescom and there are going to be some details hopefully about Starfighter Assault and hopefully we will get to see more of the campaign at Gamescom so with the first image coming on screen now you get to see the Inferno Squad TIE Fighter from the back you get to see some X-Wing, some space battles, and you've even got the Inferno Squad's Corvus in front of the TIE Fighter there, so I'm wondering if we will actually get to play as the Corvus itself in Star Wars Battlefront 2 in the campaign, or whether or not we will just have to stick to Inferno Squad TIE Fighters when it comes to space battles. It would have been cool to see the Inferno Squad's Corvus ship as a playable vehicle in the campaign, but I do think it will be mainly TIE Fighters if we get to control Inferno Squad ships. I'm interested to see how the space battle missions in Star Wars Battlefront 2 are going to work in the campaign, so I'm hoping we do get to destroy rebel targets in space, or even fly the vehicles around in a planet's atmosphere as well as doing space battles in the campaign. But the image on screen does look pretty amazing and I hope this is from a mission in Star Wars Battlefront 2, the campaign obviously, where we have to attack like a rebel docking station for ships or something like that take it out by doing different objectives and like I say hopefully get to play it as the Corvus and the Inferno Squad TIE Fighters. The second image is of a lot of Imperial Star Destroyers, TIE Fighters and the Inferno Squad's Corvus ship. I think this looks like it's from more of a sort of cutscene in the campaign, I don't think this is particularly a mission, but Battlefront 2 from these images looks absolutely fantastic and like I keep saying I can't wait to get into the space battles. I think they are going to be much more improved than in the original Star Wars Battlefront game. So I'm interested to see how different they actually are and especially campaign missions. The campaign is something I'm very excited for so to see the different aspects of gameplay space battles on the ground and hero gameplay in a campaign is really exciting. There isn't really too much more to say about this image other than the fact it just looks absolutely stunning. I imagine the graphics in Star Wars Battlefront 2 are going to hold out to this sort of quality, especially on the Xbox One X, Battlefront 2 is going to have enhanced graphics on the Xbox One X, I can't wait to see how that looks. So the final image is the first proper look at the Inferno Squad TIE Fighter. You can see there isn't really too much of a difference between a normal TIE Fighter and the Inferno Squad TIE Fighter other than the red glass for the cockpit and the three red stripes to mark the Inferno Squad sort of symbols on vehicles. I do hope that the Inferno Squad TIE Fighter is playable in the multiplayer as well as the campaign but I'm not sure if it will be or whether it'll be some form of like reinforcement ship for the Empire but it just looks so good it would be a waste not to see it utilised in the Star Wars Battlefront 2 multiplayer but we'll have to wait and see at Gamescom whether that will be announced or what will be announced about space battles and more of the campaign hopefully when Gamescom arrives next month. Let me know down in the comments section below what you think of these new images of Star Wars Battlefront 2 and let me know what you are excited to see from Space Battles at Gamescom. Make sure to smash a like on this video if you have enjoyed it and if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe to join the Aurora Alliance and be kept up to date with all things Star Wars Battlefront 2 and other Star Wars games. Other than that may the force be with you.